Hey everyone, welcome back. It's so good to see all of you here and I know what you're thinking, what's happening? I never start my video with uh, me. <laughs> I always go straight into my DIYs. But I just wanted to share something with you guys. During this DIY, you will see me wearing these gorgeous bracelets and I was fortunate enough to be contacted by the wonderful ladies of Sashka Co. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, so I'm just gonna show you their information here really quickly. Um, these are all of their social media sites, but I had um, some wonderful people contact me from this company. And let me tell you what this company does, not only does it provide you with this wonderful jewelry but the proceeds help with fair trade and these bracelets are made by the women of nepal and it helps keep them out of poverty and it helps them provide for themselves and for their family and it's all about fair trade um, so I'm going to show you the website and this is me on my cell phone scrolling through the website because I want you to see some of the beautiful bracelets that they have and if you sign up for the email they will send you all of these wonderful offers. I'm going to show you the three bracelets that I picked. The first one was this white one. I don't know if it'll focus on me or there we go. Excuse my nails. I had some fake nails on and I took them off and they took some of my nails with them. But um, anyway, look at this gorgeous white bracelet. And then I got this beautiful one. How gorgeous is that? And finally, this one has got to be my favorite. Look at that sparkle in it. I just absolutely love this one. That one is definitely my favorite. So they all slide on and these are really easy to slide on. When you first get them, they're gonna give you a little bit of resistance but uh, the more you put them on the easier they will be to put on and as far as I am concerned with jewelry I don't really like to wear it it just irritates my skin um, rings and watches sometimes even earrings and necklaces so 99.9% .9 of the time you see me I will not be wearing any jewelry but when I tell you I put these on at work and I worked full shifts in it they are so comfortable they don't bother my skin they don't pinch the skin or the hair on my arms it is um, a great investment and to be able to support other women is one of our woman superpowers that we have is to uplift each other to help each other and um, I want to thank the ladies of Sashka company I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that um, but I will link their information below they were also kind enough to offer me an affiliate link so if you choose to use that link a portion of the sale does come back to me however I do want to let you know that if you do choose to use that link I will be giving my money to someone at Kiva now, if you have not heard of Kiva, K-I-V-A, Kiva is an organization that provides microloans for people all over the world. So you can choose people here in the United States, people in Africa, people in the Caribbean, people in Europe, in Central South America, in Hawaii, in the Samoan Islands, wherever they may be they are starting small businesses to help them feed their families and maintain their livelihood and with a donation as little as $25 you can make a micro loan to help them they repay the loan 
and then you relend that money to someone else. And I've been with Kiga Kiva. <laughs> I've been with Kiva for a few years now and I have made a lot of micro loans with the same $25. So um, I just appreciate this opportunity to continue to do that. If you don't choose to hit the affiliate link, I completely understand. I will put the regular link right below it. Um, I just want to help this company support women as they have been doing. I was so excited to hear from them and so excited to get my bracelets. I absolutely love them and I know you will too. I also wanted to show you this cute little watermelon anklet. How cute is that going to be for the summer by the pool, by the beach? It's gorgeous. I love it. As a matter of fact, I have to go order one before they sell out. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share again with you their um, social media accounts. Please go and follow them and see how you can help these ladies continue to support the women of Nepal. These bracelets are handmade by these women of Nepal. And if you think about getting something handmade for you at the price of these bracelets, it's really worth it. So um, now we are going to get into today's DIY. I hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Guys, I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Wait, I mean, don't leave. Watch the DIY. Okay, watch that first. Okay everyone, we're going to start the DIY with these Dollar Tree signs. And Dollar Tree does have these out for sale right now. They also have another one that says grateful in a brown um, sort of plaid texture or pattern I should say. But I'm going to start by removing some of the parts here. And these pop out really easily. I just press down on it and as you can see, it just pops right out. And then I'm going to bend down the sides of these signs on the side where I pop the little tab off is the side that I'm going to bend down and then I'm going to remove the little triangular parts there. So I'm going to use this razor edge to separate the sign, just like that. So this is what you should be left with. And now I'm just going to go ahead and bend down the right side and remove the little tab. And then I'm going to use the straight edge again to separate that tab. It really is just held together with paper and those little MDF tabs that are there. And this is what I'm looking for right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to this one. And I did the same thing to two other signs. I just reversed it. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So this is what we have. We'll have four of these. And these are the little sides that I took off. I'm just going to apply some hot glue onto the side of the sign that has the little buffalo check pattern. And I'm going to reattach the part that I took off of the sign onto a different area. So I'm just going to attach it right there where I'm applying the glue. Again, sorry if you hear squeaking, Slash is playing. <laughs> I am going to hold it at an angle. Um, if you reattach it, you can reattach it uh, just straight, but I wanted to kind of hide the edge so that you couldn't see it. And so I'm going to do this to all three of the remaining signs. I'm also going to go back on the inside 
of where I attached it and add some hot glue for some extra reinforcement. So this is a brand new sign that I'm using and I'm detaching the sides just like I did for the other four. And what I'm looking for, I just need uh, this part here, the long part of the sign that has the buffalo check. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and I'm gonna use a ruler to try to find the center of it. Then I'm gonna use a marker to mark off where the center is. And then using the straight edge again, I'm going to go ahead and score it three times. And then I'm just going to use a back and forth motion to break it in half and scoring it helps ensure that you're going to have a clean edge when it does break in half, as you can see there. So I'm going to take two of the signs. Now what you want to make sure is that the thankful part of the sign is facing out in the same direction. And those are the two signs that you want to glue together. And then you're going to do it again with the thankful sign facing the opposite direction. And I'm just using hot glue to attach these signs together. So that's what we have so far. That's what it should look like. So I want to paint over these signs. I think Dollar Tree did a great job with this sign in particular, but I'm going to take some of this trail tan from Ceram Coat. I picked this up from Target and I'm going to give a couple of coats of paint just to this part of the sign. You could paint this whatever color you want it, but I wanted a neutral tone and something that would cover up the lettering and the picture effectively and this paint did a great job of that. So this is what it looks like after it has dried. So you should have two parts that look like that, two different stands that look like that. And this is the back of the little stand that you're looking at. So I took apart one more sign to get all of these three, four pieces here, I should say. I'm going to use the buffalo check sign and I'm going to adhere them to either side of the plant stand and this is what's going to hold them together. I decided to use the thankful sign in the middle and then another buffalo check right there at the end. And our little plant stand is coming together. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down and then take an extra strip of the buffalo check and glue it right there across the front. I think that helps to add more of a look of a little table to it. And I'm just adding a little bit more hot glue right here. Um, it was popping out a little bit and I want it to be as flush as possible. Now I'm going to take this trellis from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut off the bottom part. Just using wire cutters. And this is what I have left. Now I'm going to take celery from Waverly. This is the chalk paint. And I'm going to give this trellis a coat of paint on both sides.
and I chose celery because it's very similar to the colors in the pumpkin on the front of the thankful sign as you can see right there so I'm going to take this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree while the trellis is drying and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the edge of the little plant stand with the burlap ribbon. This is optional. I just thought it had added just a little note, a little touch of fall with um, bringing that texture and that color into the mix. Maybe it was a bit too much of the buffalo check and it needed something to break it up a little bit and I thought the texture and the fact that it's burlap helped to do that. Now that our trellis is dry, I'm going to go ahead and lay down the little plant stand face down. This is the back of it and I'm going to take the trellis and I'm going to place it on the back part of the plant stand just right there as you can see and then using a whole lot of hot glue I'm going to go ahead and keep going back and forth over the parts where the trellis meets the burlap and let that dry. While it does I'm going to take this little wheelbarrow that I found at Target Dollar Spot and some of this Excelsior that I got at Dollar Tree. They have this new one now that kind of looks like hay for fall and the whole package just fits perfectly in the wheelbarrow so I'm gonna go ahead and fluff it up a bit just to my liking just to the way that I want it to be and then I found these three really pretty picks from Dollar Tree for fall one has a little pumpkin on it uh, there's pomegranates and then there's one with a flower and some fall leaves and people are already picking up these picks. I was fortunate to find these. They have lots of florals left. Uh, the pomegranate picks are plentiful, but the ones with the pumpkins and the one with that flower were pretty much picked over. These, I think, were the last two in the store. So if you see them, grab them. I don't know if they're going to restock them or if it's just, you know, when you see it, get it because there, there may not be any more. You know how that goes with Dollar Tree stocking. Sometimes they do replenish and sometimes they don't. And then this is a pear and an apple also from Dollar Tree. And I saw these um, with the lemons that they were selling. And I decided that these would be great fall fruit to add to my little wheelbarrow. And that's it. It's done. So this is our plant stand. This is how it turned out. And I think it's just so darling and adorable. I would only recommend this for inside use, obviously because the sign is made from MDF and covered with paper. So it's not outdoor friendly. If you wanted to spray it or seal it or something, then maybe you could put it outside, but um, I'm using this one indoors. And then this is our little wheelbarrow. This is how it turned out. I thought about painting the wheelbarrow into a darker fall color, but I think so much of fall colors are already very rich and dark. So I thought I would leave it bright. And I'm glad I did. I could always paint it or add lettering on it. This was a little pumpkin that I made out of the Walmart burlap lace fabric. And that's Keiko with her fuzzy hair in the shot. <laughs> Both dogs came over trying to figure out what this was. Was it edible? So this is our DIY guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget, guys, to go on over to Sashka Co. and get your bracelets to help support the women of Nepal and in turn help women everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this DIY, everyone. It's so good to see you all again. Have a beautiful, blessed week, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.